Good morning, everybody. This is Louie again. And guess what I've discovered? I've discovered that the Civil War, the verbal Civil War that's been taking place in our country has now come to the valley where I live. This is what, this is why I say that. Last evening, um, Ashley, who's sitting here right with me, say hi, Ashley. Hi. Uh, and I were at our local Walmart picking up uh, popcorn. We were going to have popcorn and watch movies last night. And we did. And it was, it was great. I loved it. But anyways, uh, when we went to go to the self-checkout, we heard an altercation taking place. Some 16-year-old little boy was calling some full-grown man a pedophile. And the thing is, is we kind of got the impression this boy didn't know anything about this man because of the way he was acting. So Ashley spoke up and said, that's enough, you need to go. She wasn't mean about it, she was just expressing her opinion. Well, after she did that, all hell broke loose. Uh, they started throwing newspapers on the counters and the register from the poor clerk that was sitting there trying to get things calmed down. And all I'm trying to, and I said talking to him, I wasn't cussing, believe it or not. I, I'm a cusser, but this time I wasn't cussing. I was being very calm and rational, saying, look, you know, there's no need for this. This needs to just, we need you to stop. And, you know, if you have to, let it go. You know, don't. Well, they went and got their mother. Their mother was sitting in the car, and they went and got their mother. Well, her mother, their mother came in. It was like a group of four or five kids. The mother came in along with this other girl. And they started raising Holy Mary Hell. And I do mean raising Holy Mary Hell. I actually had to get between Ashley and the one girl for fear that there was going to be a physical altercation. And the part that really got to me is while I was trying to explain what was going on to the best of my knowledge, the mother said, it's all because we're black. I looked at her, and that's when I realized this was a race thing wasn't a race thing for me, it was a race thing for them. And I looked at her and I said, this has nothing to do with skin color. This has everything to do with the way your children are acting in the store. You know, because let's face it, when you're out in public, you're supposed to be somewhat, use some kind of mannerism, you know, some manners. And these kids weren't using it, especially this 16-year-old boy. And I'm guessing his age, I don't know how old he was, but he looked to be about 16. Well... Police ended up coming. They pushed them, they got them out of the parking lot. They wouldn't let Ashley or I outside. They wouldn't let the other guy outside. The police spoke to us. We explained to the best of our ability as to what was going on. And then this man came out that, you know, it all started with. And he went out and he explained what was going on. After we were finally able to leave, the gentleman came up to us, thanked us for defending him and then explained the part we didn't know and this is what happened he was following along behind these kids who were moseying he was in a bit of a hurry at some point the one girl of these kids turned around saw him said excuse me and he said excuse me and he went on by well the 16 year old boy that was there took offense to that why? I do not know. I still don't understand it. I've been thinking about it and thinking about it. I still don't understand it. But because he took offense to it, he decided he was going to try and do a stare down. Well, this is where the, the other guy was in the wrong. He should have just ignored it, but he did. He said something. He goes, you got a problem? And that's when the 16-year-old boy started going off. He called him a pedophile. Now, when I asked the 16-year-old boy why he called him a pedophile, you know what his answer was? Because he was behind my sister. Was well, that kind of a stupid answer? When you're in a store, in line, or just walking along, there's going to be people behind you. And they're not going to care about whether you're a, a, a girl or a boy. They're not going to care about if you're underage or not. They're going to be behind you. They're busy with their own lives. They don't care about what's going on in front of them. As long as they ain't running them over, they're happy. 
As long as the people in front of them ain't causing problems for them, they're happy. And this is the part that bothers me the most. This kid was so sensitive about this guy being behind his sister that when I tried to talk to him, he was still so upset that all he could do is scream, cuss, and curse. And I wasn't cussing and cursing at him. And I pointed that out to him. I said, I'm talking to you normal. I'm not cussing and cursing. I'm not screaming at you. You don't need to cuss and curse and scream at me. And the mother just became irate over that. The Civil War, the verbal Civil War has started in the Valley. People need to quit being so damn sensitive, okay? When you're in the store, when you're in line, there's going to be people behind you. If you're worried about your young ones having someone behind them, get them in front of you. If you're going to create that much of a scene in the store, maybe it's better if you don't go into the store. It's a simple deal. Now, good news is there was no physical altercations. There were no arrests. Everybody got to go home. Nobody was hurt. But the bad news, there's no reason for anything like this to have ever happened. And I have a feeling it's going to get worse before it gets better. So stand up for yourselves. Don't let somebody sit there and call you a pedophile unless you are. I'll come to find out this man has zero on his record. So <laughs> I'm guessing he's probably not a pedophile. So that's just how it is. I don't know what else to do. Stand up for yourselves. Don't put up with this nonsense in the store. Learn to watch what's going on around you. And you know what? Stand up for others. Try not to get into the physical altercation. If you do, make sure it's on camera with them hitting you first. This way, you don't get nailed with assault and battery. We'll talk to you all later.